Greetings everyone, this is Crime Alley Comics. Welcome to episode 41 of the Comic Book Artist Spotlight. Tonight's spotlight is on Ariel Olivetti. So we will be talking about his career and uh, I'll be showing you books as usual and then I've got some books that I'll show you at the end of the video of my own. I've picked out I think four uh, that I have I, I have others but there was a few that I couldn't find and I was kind of pressed for time so <laughs> so this is what I have uh, I don't have a lot of information uh, but I do have some so um, I hope you enjoy this Ariel Olivetti was born November the 15th of 1967 in Buenos Aires he is an uh, Argentina comic book penciler best known for his work on American comic books such as Daredevil, X-Man, Space Ghost, and Punisher War Journal. Olivetti studied graphic design in college and first had his work published in the Argentine magazine Fierro. His first work in the US was 1995's The Last Avengers Story which was written by Peter David and published by Marvel Comics. He went on to have a brief stint as regular penciler on Marvel's Daredevil between 1997 and 1998, where he worked with writer Joe Kelly, and his next major work was in 1998 when he worked with writer Steve Grant on the Warren Ellis devised Counter X. And that is a revamp of Marvel's X-Man title. In 2005, he again collaborated with Joe Kelly on DC Comics' Space Ghost limited series, which revealed the character's origins for the first time. Other titles he, was worked on, <clears throat> he has worked on uh, include Mystique and Sabretooth in 1996, Alpha Flight in 1997, and What If 1997 at Marvel and JLA Paradise Lost in 1998. He's also worked on Haven, which is one that I do have, but I couldn't find that one for some reason, but I do have a copy of that. Uh, and all of these are number ones that I have. Uh, he also worked on Haven, uh, The Broken City in 2002, Green Lantern in 2003, and Batman Legends of the Dark Knight 2006 and that was for DC of course in 1999 he collaborated with writer Mark Wade on the kingdom illustrating issue number one with Mike Zeck illustrating issue number two a sequel to kingdom come in 2006 he signed an exclusive contract with Marvel Comics and launched the second volume of Punisher War Journal with writer Matt uh, Fraction. Olivet did art on the first 10 numbers. Other work from Marvel includes Cable, Volume 2, ongoing series that debuted in March of 2008, and more recently, Incredible Hulk and Namor, Volume 3. Throughout his career, Olivetti has worked in different mediums including black and white, digital color, acrylics, and oils. Olivetti himself declared having been influenced by artists like Richard Corbin, Simon, I believe it's Bisley, and his fellow countryman Mauro Cassioli. In 2012 he collaborated with the comic book hero Seeds drawing two covers of the comic and several drawings in the same comic. So that's most of what I have, well it's all of what I have for uh, Ariel Olivetti's career. Now for the work that he's done in comics uh, where he's done interior pencils and painting art. This is for DC Comics. He did Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 207 through 211, along with Mauro Cassioli. That was in 2006. 
DCU Brave New World number one among other artists in 2006 but he did the cover for that one Elseworlds 80 page giant number one 1999 Flash volume 2 80 page giant number one in 1998 Future Quest presents Space Ghost number one through three and that was in 2017 G.I. Joe Combat, Volume 2, Number 1, in 2012. Haven, The Broken City. That's a mini-series. He did numbers 1 through 9. That was in 2002. J.L.A. Martian Manhunter, Annual Number 1, 1997. J.L.A. Paradise Lost, mini-series, Number 1 through 3, 1998. Primeval, in 1999. JLA Haven Arrival in 2002 and JLA Haven Anathema 2002 JLA Showcase 80 page giant number one in 2000 The Kingdom two part miniseries he did number one that was in 1999 Lobo number 63 and 64 in 1999 Martian Manhunter Annual Number One in 1998, Space Ghost Miniseries Number One through Six in 2005, Superman Volume Two Number 179 in 2002, Superman Returns Prequel, four-part miniseries Number One. He did Number One in 2006, Superman Secret Files and Origins 2005 and 2006. Uh, he also did a DC Dark Horse. Crossover with Superman and Batman vs. Aliens and Predators, miniseries number 1 and 2 in 2007. For Marvel Comics, he did Alpha Flight, Volume 2, number 11, that was in 1997. Cable, Volume 2, number 1 through 15, that was in 2008 through 2009. Daredevil, Full Art, number 369, 371, 372 and 374 uh, and also number 375 that was 1997 through 1998 death of the inhumans miniseries number one in 2018 hercules fall of an avenger miniseries number one and two that was in 2010 incredible hulk number 601 through 605 that was in 2009 2010 Iron Man 2.0, number 4, 5, and 8. That was in 2011. Last Avengers Story, miniseries, number 1 and 2, in 1995. Mystique and Sabretooth miniseries, number 1 through 4, in 1996-1997. Namor, volume 3, number 1 through 3, and number 5. That was in 2010-2011. Punisher War Journal, Volume 2, Number 1 through 3, and Number 5 through 10. That was in 2007. Thor, Heaven and Earth. That's a mini-series, and he did Number 1, Issue Number 1, in 2011. Ultimate Civil War, Spider-Man, One-Shot. That was in 2007. He did What If, Number 88, in 1996. X-Men Declassified, number one in 2000. Uh, see, he also did X-Force, number 107 in 2000. X-Factor, volume two, number seven in 2006. Venom, Space Knight, number one through four in 2015 and 2016. Now for other publishers, he did Brutal Nature, Concrete Fury miniseries number one through four for IDW in 2017. Conan and the People of Black Circle miniseries number one through four. That was for Dark Horse in 2013, 2014. And this next one, uh, El Cazador de Avengers <laughs> number one through 65. And that was in 1992 through 1999. He did Fierro, um, 
they have question marks on what numbers he did. <laughs> um, so, and then ICH Naturaleza Salvage, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> 2016. Okay. So I believe that's all we have for Ariel Olivetti. And now I will show you a few books that I have. And uh, and then I'll let you go. <laughs> First up, we have All Star Western featuring Jonah Hex, number zero. Very cool cover. And down here at the bottom, if I can get it to focus for you, you can see. Mr. Olivetti's signature. It's an A and an O. There we go. There's his signature. It looks like a 4 and an O, but it's, I guess it's supposed to be an A. Next up we have Future Quest presents Space Ghost number 1. Green Lantern and Space Ghost, number one. Brave New Worlds. Now this one here, I got uh, I got signed by Ariel Olivet at uh, the convention I went to last year. You can see his signature there. I went to a convention in Indianapolis and he was there. He's a very nice guy, uh, very good to talk to, and he don't charge, uh, you know, I don't remember if he even charged for signatures. And then we have Cable, number one. I don't remember if this, I don't think this one has his signature on it, the AO like he, Put on the others very cool cover all right so that's all I have for Ariel Olivetti tonight I hope you enjoyed this if you have any comments uh, or any further information that I did not cover please feel free to leave comments uh, or leave the information down in the comments uh, I do like uh, Ariel's artwork like I said, I met him last year in Indianapolis, uh, the same convention that I did the video um, where I talked to Neil Adams and, and so on and got his signature. But, uh, but yeah, he was a very good guy to talk to. Uh, he was very generous about giving his autograph. And if, if I did, I don't think I even paid for his autograph, but if I did, it, was, it couldn't have been any more than five bucks. But I'm pretty sure he wasn't even charging. At least for, I only got one autograph from him, so. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for tonight. Um, like I said, please leave comments. Um, if you have any further information, you know, if you've uh, ever met him and, uh, you know, you want to share your experience meeting him or whatever, please leave comments down in the uh, comments section below. And with that, I will let you all go. Have a wonderful week, God bless, and we will see you all next video.